Hi guys, so today I will be sharing another ube recipe. This is ube flan roll cake. Um, you need to make the flan ahead of time. So this I've done the night before. I have a complete recipe on how to make this. I'll put the link in the description box below. So we're only going to be using one um, flan for this recipe. So the rest I'll use it for other recipes. So cover this with foil. If there's any bubbles, remove it using a spoon. Cover this with foil and then steam this in a very low heat. For the small flan, steam it for 13 minutes. And for the big flan, steam it for 20 minutes. This is two and a half tablespoon of ube halaya or ube jam one for a teaspoon of salt you need gel food coloring one and a half teaspoon of ube flavoring 25 grams of melted butter 30 grams of sugar 80 grams of cake flour 25 ml of milk five egg yolks ingredients will be listed in the description box so Combine the sugar and the egg yolks. Whisk this together until the mixture turns into light pale yellow, just like this. Then add the ube halaya. For the ube halaya recipe, I'll put the link in the description box as well. This is um, dehydrated ube that I cook. So again, everything that you need to know will be written in the description box. So mix it well, then add the melted butter. Add the milk. Now add the ube extract. I'm using one and a half teaspoon. mix well as you can see here that the color is really good but but i have an optional ingredients which is the gel food coloring if you don't want to add the uh, food coloring that's fine but i want my roll cake to be vibrant purple so i added two drops two little drops combine the salt and the cake flour give it a quick mix and then sift this into the cake batter Then use the spatula to mix all the ingredients together until it is just combined. Do not over mix this. By the way, your oven should be preheated at 170 degrees Celsius. Set this aside. Now this is 5 egg whites and 70 grams of sugar. Using an electric mixer, beat the egg whites until it is frothy. Once it is frothy, gradually add the sugar. Once the sugar is all in, continue beating until you reach the stiff peak stage. And this is not the stiff peak stage. Combine the meringue with the egg yolk batter in two or three additions using the folding method. Do not over mix this. For me, this is now ready. So I'm transferring the batter into a Swiss roll pan lined with parchment paper. Eat 
evenly distribute the batter and then we're going to bake this in a preheated oven at 170 degrees celsius for about 15 to 18 minutes or until when you insert the skewer in the middle of the pan or the cake the skewer comes out clean Lightly tap the cake before baking and this is what it looks like after baking. Let this cool down completely. Set this aside. Meanwhile, this is the fan that I made yesterday. So just unmold the flan. Set this aside as well. For the cream, this is one and a half cup of whipping cream, three fourths cup of icing sugar that I sifted, and one teaspoon of ube flavoring. Using a whisk in high speed, mix the sugar and the whipping cream for about a minute. After a minute, stop and then add the ube extract, one teaspoon. Uh, this icing is quite a lot because at first I was thinking of icing the whole um, cake but I decided not to so if you want you can have this recipe and just to make the icing vibrant purple I'm adding gel food coloring just one drop again that's optional um, this is now ready set this aside now cut the flan lengthwise just want to show you the texture of the flan it is really smooth with no bubbles in the flan so if you want to learn how to make this i'll put the link in the description box You will need about four strips of the flan or you can do more if you want. The cake has cooled out completely. We can put the icing now. Don't be too excited adding um, the icing on the cake because if you put a lot, it will ooze out and it will make a mess. Remember to put a little bit of a gap on the edges so it, it doesn't make a mess when you roll the cake. Now it's time to add the flan. I'm doing two, two rows. You can make it three if you like. My hands are clean. And it's time to roll the cake. Roll the cake away from you. And then if you have time, let this sit in the fridge for about an hour. So I will put this in the fridge. After an hour, this is what the cake looks like. With the extra cream, I'm piping swirls on top. And then with the extra flan, I cut some cubes. Cut the ends of the Swiss roll cake. Use a serrated knife if you can because using a normal knife makes an ugly cut. And this is the finished product. And just to show you what it looks like inside of the Swiss roll. This is really good. It's so light and the flan and the ube 
complement each other well so i hope you give this a try i can guarantee that you're not gonna regret making this thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again next week bye